I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to represent relations in different forms. We are given relation as set of ordered pairs. So the question here is express this set of ordered pairs which is minus 2, 4, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4 and 3, 9 as a table, a graph and a mapping diagram. So we are given a relation, a relation as you know is a relation between two set of elements one is the input and the other one is the output so when we try to make a table what we can do is we can make two columns so that's the table and in the table we can say one column as input the other one as output now input is represented by independent variable so we will say x is the independent variable and output is represented by dependent variable so we'll say y is the output the dependent variable y. in our case ordered pairs are actually points on the coordinate system where minus 2 represents coordinates of x right so it is minus 2 here and it is mapped to 4 minus 1 is related with 1 0 is related with 0, 1 is 1, 2 to 4, and 3 is related with 9. So that is representation of the set of ordered pairs in the form of a table. Right. Now let us see how to represent this on a graph. So the best graph for this will be a scattered plot. Right. So what we can do is we can show these points on the coordinate system. Right. So that's that's the coordinate system. So what points we have here is minus the x points are from minus 2 to 3. Let's say these are my x values in the negative side 1, 2 and 3 on the positive side. So this is along the x-axis that is y-axis. y points are 1 to 9. So let me make this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So first point here is minus 2, 4. That means 2 units to the left and 4 units up. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say this is my first point. Then we have minus 1, 1. So that is the next point. 0, 0 is right there. 1, 1, 2, 4. So 2, 4. And then we have 3, 9. So at 3 we have, we have 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these set of points represent the relation expressed in ordered pairs in the form of a graph. Right. So, so that is how you could do. So let's label this. This is minus 1, this is 1, this is 1, and here we have minus 1. Right. So along the x and y axis, initial values represent the x coordinates and the final values are represented by the y. So independent variable is along the x axis dependent on the y axis. Now let us see how to represent the same relation in the form of a mapping diagram. In a mapping diagram we have two sets right. One is called the input set and the other one is the output set right now each element here minus 2 is mapped to 4 so mapping could be shown with the help of an arrow minus 1 to 1 and the direction is from independent to dependent right so from 0 to 0 1 to 1 and 2 to 4 and 3 to 9 okay so 3 to 9 so that is how you can represent the same data in the form of a mapping diagram. So, so each element of on the left side of this coordinate system, the x becomes kind of an input here, right? So, and that is the output. So this could be input or represent domain, and that is output representing range of the given relation. I hope this video clearly shows you how to write domain and range also from a given relation and represent it in different forms. Now question for you is 
uh, can you write down an equation? So you you need to write down an algebraic equation to represent the given relation, right? So you can pause the video, write down algebraic equation to represent the equation. Some of you may get the equation as y equals to uh, in this case it is square right so you get this equation so that is the equation which represents uh, the given relation but very important part here is to restrict your domain of x so you should write where x uh, is is what x is just 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 6 elements so minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 now that is very important to highlight so when you write down equation restrict the values of x this is only for these values of x that we have at present correct so that is how you could also represent a relation in the form of algebraic equation remember it is not so easy to represent relation in terms of equations most of the time right so at times you can and this is probably the best way to represent. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.